So just when I thought my project had come to an end, um, I happened to spot these um, being talked about on one of the uh, forums uh, for the F-Type. So I thought I'd have a look. Um, they aren't expensive uh, in the UK. They were about £30. Um, effectively, these are the little inserts um, that go in the mirrors. Um, and the only difference for these, really, and, and it's a bit, it's a bit trite, but it amused me is is they do the kind of um, kind of repeating along the line, so you get that kind of moving turn signal um, as opposed to a fixed one. Um, so I thought I'd uh, I'd get them, give it a go. Um, so inside the box, um, as you would imagine, there there isn't a lot to it. Um, they come with um, effectively um, two, one for either side. Um, and a couple of uh, tools, um, mainly, to help get the uh, covers off the wing mirrors. Um, these are the items themselves. You can see there is, that's the inside of it. I'll flip it over. That's the outside bit. Um, upside down, I think. Um, but effectively, these are just what you put in place. And that little hole at the bottom there, with my little finger, is where they plug in. Um, it's a really simple, um, not much to it, um, but I've seen some people kind of talk about um, how hard it is to get the mirror covers off. Um, so I thought I'd knock together a video and show you how easy this is to do. As you've probably seen from my previous videos, I've already done quite a lot of messing with the wing mirror, so um, this one's not too intimidating. Anyway, that's what this project is, uh, to go and install those. So as I kind of mentioned, I have um, already done quite a lot of messing around with my wing mirrors. These are my original wing mirrors um, with um, the replacement cover caps that came from the other set of wing mirrors that I bought um, that came with uh, effectively blind spot monitoring in them. Um, so um, I'm going to cheat and rather than mess around outside in the cold in the garage, um, I'm going to show you how to get the mirror caps off. Um, they aren't hard. So in terms of um, the wing mirror itself, the real key bit is down here in the corner. Um, to get the cover off, you've got to get underneath that corner piece. Along here, there we go. And really, that's it, popped up. Once you've done that, it should come out. There's one other thing you can do, and what you can do is, if you want, is take the mirror glass out because there is a little clip in the back corner that you can get access to from the front and you can lift that cliff up, which allows you to get it out. But it should be possible, once you've unclipped it, just to kind of gently, there we go, wiggle it and get it off. And once you've done that, there you go. And you can see the other, the original repeater module that's along here, uh, wiring connection simple plug it there with the little push down on the top um, and then you've just got to undo the screws to take this item out all right so here we go real one outside uh, so here and over here a couple of t10 uh, torque screws once you've uncoupled those it literally is just lift out and you are done so there we go uh, i've not fully put the mirror cap back on yet obviously i want to make sure it worked before uh, before i committed to squeezing it back on um but you can see it kind of flicking left to right you can also see it's um obviously the other one was kind of a very silver plastic streak that's uh, a very dark one which kind of matches in with the bottom of the mirror um, just to give you a comparison, so that's with the hazard lights on. If I kind of run around the other side. And you can kind of see that one doing its things it used to do before. Actually, I think the new one's quite impressive for what it is. Um, it's a nice fix if anybody's interested.